Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli back out in the shop with another great video for you today. And in today's shop, we're going to be talking about my top four, one, two, three, four, top four baits for the month of August. All right, as you can see, we're in the shop, but I have the shop doors open. We're looking for a breeze. I got my Hawaiian shirt on, and August is hot. No matter where you're at, if you're watching this from California or Maine or Texas or Ohio, wherever, August means the hottest month of the year, the hottest extremes of weather, and the hottest water temperatures of the year. And really, you got to think about not just fish location, but also your bait selection based on those hot conditions. You've heard me say it before. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but summertime patterns are deeper, thicker, and current. Fish that go to deep water to escape the heat, they get oxygen, and of course their food is down there. Fish that go thick, under thick cover for cooler water, for food, for shade, and last but not least, fish that relate to current in August because of oxygen and cooler water and food, right? The common, denomina uh, common denominator is food and all those. But I'm gonna give you my top four baits for the month of August, and you know how this gig works. I'm gonna break it up. Two for the north part of the country. Let's call it Virginia North. And I'm gonna give you two for the southern part of the country. You know, Virginia, the Carolinas, all the way down to the bottom, okay? So let's start with my top two baits for the month of August for guys that live in the north. I'm gonna start with one that's really changed fishing in the sense that when the fishing gets tough, and listen, the month of August, it's hot, there's water skiers, there's pleasure boaters, there's traffic. The fish are skittish. When things get tough, this is a bait that will catch fish. So, you know, a drop shot, would be there too. These are almost hand in hand. But that Ned Rig has really become a top player for me in the month of August. Listen, I don't care if you live on a lake that's loaded with smallmouth. I don't care if you live in a place that has spotted bass or even largemouth. When they get skittish, when things tighten up, grab a, a spinning rod and throw a Ned Rig. Here's the great thing, guys. All a Ned Rig is, it's a jig head with a little stubby bait on the back. Um, I'm a real fan of, this is the Half Head by Berkeley, and I'm using from a 16th of an ounce all the way up to a quarter, you know, depending on the water depth. I really like the eighth and the three 16th ounce size. They're great in between sizes. And if you look at that Half Head, it's just a, it's a gopher style head with a 90 degree line tie. Has a smaller hook on it, a little bit lighter wire, perfect finesse style jig head. And then all I'm throwing on that bait is a Ned style lure. And a Ned style lure is just this little stubby piece of plastic, three to four inches. Um, this is the Little General by Max Scent. So whatever your favorite little Ned style plastic is. And listen to me, guys, worst case scenario, let me find one. Worst case scenario, get the soft stick baits you already have. You already have a million of these in the boat. This is a five inch General. Keep your broken ones. If they rip, you're wacky rigging it and it rips, keep them. And at the end of the day, if you take a soft stick bait, and you bite it off below the egg sac, you have a perfect Ned bait as well, right? So short, stubby, and the key to this bait, why it's so good in August, is it kind of wanders down, and you get some bites when it does that. 
But once it hits, as you drag it along the bottom, guys, it does nothing. It has no big action. It doesn't spin. It doesn't spiral. It doesn't flap. It just comes along the bottom motionless. For a fish in the heat of August that has been bombed by different lures and ridden over by a jet ski and it's hot, that's a great way to finesse your way to fish in the month of August, okay? So number one, drop shot and, and Ned, hand in hand, but I'm going with the Ned rig. Number two is another soft plastic. Guys, when it gets hot and, and the fishing up north stinks, I'm gonna have this tied on. Choice number two is a Nico rig, a Nico rig. The great thing about a Nico rig is how easy this bait is to, to fish and how easy this bait is to rig, okay? First thing you want a four to six inch straight tail worm, uh, bottom hopper, uh, trick, trick worm style worm, or this has really become a, a favorite bait of mine, available in a seven inch, but this is a good one. This is a four and a half inch Hit Worm by Berkeley, Max Scent. And all we're gonna do with that little straight tail, bubble tail, bulbous tail worm is we're gonna put a O-ring on it, okay? So get your O-ring tool, whatever you're using, get that on there, pull your O-ring down, and then just get it out on the bait, okay? Here's the thing, most of the time when you're putting an O-ring on the soft plastic, it's because you're wacky rigging it. But on the Nico rig, we're gonna put it below center, toward the head. So, not halfway, but a little bit further down, right, toward the head of that bait. I'm holding it upside down. Here's the tail, here's the head. It's below the egg sac not quite three quarters of the way down, okay? So the O-ring's gonna go below center. Then the next thing we're gonna do is, guys, just get your favorite little nail weight, um, a 32nd ounce, a 16th, an eighth, even up to a quarter, but a 16th or an eighth, really good size nail weight. And then again, holding the worm backwards, right? There's our tail, there's our head. Our O-ring is below center, below the egg sac. We're gonna put that weight in the thick part of the head. I'll give you a look of it gone in. There's what it looks like gone in. We're gonna finish it off. And no matter what weight I'm using, even if it's a traditional nail, I like to let a little bit of that lead or tungsten stick out. And, I'm, and you're gonna see why in a second, but I like to actually have the nail or the weight sticking out. I don't like to push it all the way into the body. Last but not least, your favorite um, split shot, drop shot, Nico style hook. And when we add our hook, and this is, by the way, this is just a Berkeley Fusion drop shot style hook. When we add our hook, we're gonna put it under the O-ring, but listen, this is really important. When we go under the O-ring, we wanna make sure that that tip of that point, it's not facing down to the head, but it's facing up toward the tail, okay? And so what this Nico rig does, guys, it's a great alternative to, to the Ned rig, is it pecks the bottom. You heard me say keep that little piece of weight out. So when it's hot and it's the month of August and we're fishing a hump or a rock pile or a ledge, we're gonna let it sink to the bottom with our spinning rod and we're gonna shake our rod tip. And the Nico rig is gonna peck the bottom, right? Just almost exactly like I'm holding it, okay? Pecking, ting, 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 ting. Ting, 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 ting. The whole time, this little weight is hitting the bottom. Little silt's coming up. 
But that bulbous tail, this is that hit worm, four and a half inch, it's just shaking, okay? So a Nico rig, perfect for current, perfect for deep water. In the month of August, when the fish are pressured, a Ned or a Nico is the way to go, okay? Number one and number two August baits, Ned and Nico. Sounds like a sitcom, doesn't it? Starsky and Hutch, I don't know. Uh, let's keep going. Guys, now I wanna give you two baits for the month of August if you're down south. And especially if you're watching this, and I, I kinda feel bad a little bit. I feel bad for the guys that live in Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Texas. I feel bad a little, Oklahoma. I feel bad a little bit because guys, it's hot down there. Like I think I'm hot in New Jersey. It's oppressively, is that a word? Oppressively hot in August in those Southern states, especially the extreme Southern states. So remember the, the patterns, deeper, thicker, current. The two that I wanna give you for the month of August if you live down South are lures for thicker conditions. Number one, without a shadow of a doubt, is the old punch rig. The punch rig. A punch rig is a lure that's getting you in and under the thickest cover possible, okay? Let's give you the components real quick. This one's easy, guys. It's super simple. Uh, first thing you wanna put on your line is a bobber stop. We all know about a bobber stop. We're gonna thread that on our line. Then we're gonna add a really heavy tungsten weight, anywhere from a half all the way to two ounces, but a one ounce or an ounce and a half, that's an ounce and a half right there. It's big weight. There's what the one ounce looks like. A big heavy tungsten weight that's gonna be our ball to get this ball and chain under the mats, okay? And then, Last but not least, just a really good, strong, straight shank flipping hook. Um, I like a three, four, or five aught, depending on the size of the bait, right? So most normal beaver style baits, I'm going with a four aught, five aught maybe for some bigger shapes, but a four aught is a great all around size. And then last but not least, the meat for your punch rig. And guys, you can use any bait you want as long as it doesn't have arms, as long as it doesn't have big curly legs or big appendages on the side. Pick a, a soft plastic that is streamlined uh, and can go through that thick cover. So beaver style baits are really good. This is the Maxent Creature Hog, one of my favorites. And when we rig that on this, basically it's a Texas rig, you can see how streamlined that is. So that heavy weight will help get it through, whether it's branches, trees, standing timber, or my favorite in the month of August is grass. If you have grass in your lake in the month of August, they're gonna be under the mats. So that system's gonna help us get through and get to those fish that are under those mats because it's hot and it's, and it's cool under the mats and their food is under the mats, right? So number three bait for the month of August, if you live down south especially, is punching through the thickest cover you can find. Last but not least, guys, and this is that same scenario is thinking about the thickest cover you can find in the month of August. Let me remind you, it's hot, the sun's oppressive, there's boat traffic, every reason in the world for the fish to bury under that thick cover. Bushes, trees, laydowns, docks, as far under the shadiest part of that dock you can get this lure, or, last but not least, those same mats, those same mats that we were punching through, 
Bait number four in the month of August, let me pull off the little tail keeper, is a good old fashioned frog. Guys, it's a great month to fish a frog. Um, and one of the reasons is you can get this lure and fish this lure places that you can't other, other baits, right? Regular, a popper or a walking bait or you know, jerk bait or whatever. You can't get them in that thick cover. So I love a frog and I love a frog that walks and a frog that walks and pushes on the mat, right? A frog that has push to it. Um, this is a frog by Mullix. Uh, this is the Super Natto frog. It's a great walking frog or pushing frog. And I could skip this under docks. I could skip it under overhanging bushes. I can fish it over mats. And when I fish it over mats, it pushes. And some of the biggest fish in the month of August won't be deep. They won't be up the river in current. They'll be under the thickest cover you can find. And you punch them or you frog them, okay? So number four bait in the month of August is a hollow-bellied frog. Guys, there you have it. Um, August, it's hot. It's really hot. It's burning, blazing hot. The water temperature's boiling. But use those two finesse techniques, Nico and Ned, and use those two techniques to get under the mats, and you're going to catch more fish in the month of August. Guys, I hope you like this video, talking about my top four baits for August. If you like what you're hearing, if you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you do that, we're going to send you a notification. A little ding goes off every time a new piece of content drops, and that happens to be every single week. If you're already a subscriber, tell your friends about the channel. Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. Hopefully try to help you uh, become a better angler and help you catch more fish. So top four baits for the month of August. Bye. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out in the shop. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, you have to check out that one and that one. And I hope you like them.